I knew the painting and I've always been very interested in the fact that Callisto is one of those people who gets caught up. I'm all, I've always been interested in those characters in stories who aren't the hero or the villain. They are just the person who gets caught up. And I think that that's often the human role in the stories of the gods. And I was also interested because of the way she's depicted so that she, her head is almost out of sight. She's not there as a person, she's there as a question. And this idea for me of, of, of her as a question and Titian captures the moment of exposure. I mean, the, the other nymphs have, are holding her really roughly and pulling back the cloth around her belly, the veil over her, her story, I suppose. And so it's actually a really live action picture. I think if people call Titian's work poetic, that they're talking about poetic in the right way, which is that he uses enormous precision and depth to bring about something very, very human, rather than create something romantic or epic. He's drawn down these gods and made them human, and that's kind of what my poem's about. It's about this, these gods um, being as susceptible to themselves as we are. And so when I say that Callisto's growing belly was a question to the gods. She is there as evidence that they um, give in to themselves and cross boundaries and do all the things that humans do. Her problem is that once she becomes this question, she cannot be part of either the God's world or the human world, but she's there as a kind of awkward fact.